Marsha, what happened? Peter hit me in the nose with a football. I can't go to the dance like this. Well, I'm sure it was an accident, sweetheart. An eye for an eye. That's what Dad always says. I never said that, honey. Shut up! <laughs> Time to teach Peter a lesson. Marsha. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. I'm Hannah. I'm Osman. And we're here to inform you guys about the gender equity at Bell Gardens High School. So have you guys ever wondered who has more lockers, male athletes or female athletes? So we went around and asked people to see what they thought. Um, I would think males. I think the boy athletes have more lockers. It would be equal. I think guy athletes. I think girls don't get enough recognition for the sports they play in. And it's all about boys and... Everybody cares more about the boys in this school. Boys. 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 The boys have more lockers than the girls here on campus. Uh, well, I don't know for sure, but I would guess you know that the male athletes do. Yeah. I'm assuming it's the boys because they tend to have more advantages, and um, I think more of the boys are involved in football, more sports on campus. Nice. Yes. I know that we've made our attempt to make sure that all sports have access to a locker. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's true. Along with questions that we asked them, we actually showed them graphs of, of data that we collected ourselves. Along with that, we showed them two pictures of two different lockers. On this campus. So as you can see in the graph, boys being the red, each boy has enough lockers so they can all get at least two and a half lockers. Meanwhile, girls in, in blue, only 61% of girls get lockers. Here we have the boys' baseball locker rooms. Here we have the girls' softball room. I'm a guy, so I always have a locker to myself. It's, it's pretty chill. I really don't think it's fair, because, like, Joe doesn't even have a room, so, like, they have to literally change in, like, a classroom instead of having their own lockers. Lockers, boys wow. have compared to the girls. It's a huge difference. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was this big of a difference. I feel like this is unfair. We need equality, so girls definitely need more lockers. Yeah. I was a student athlete, so I would want you know everything to be given to me as well as boys. It's definitely you know unfair, especially you know with Title IX, it's supposed to be equal for both boys and girls sports. So now that you actually see how unfair it actually is, I'm just surprised that nothing has been done yet. That's softball. No way, that's softball? That's softball. They leave yeah. their equipment in the urinals. No way. Yeah, that's not cool. I mean, look at baseball, that looks like, you know, like a college locker room and then... Um, I think this is pretty unfair because the ratio from guys to lockers is like three lockers per guy. And some of the girls don't even have lockers. These lockers are really nice. I actually never thought like that the school had nice lockers like this. Those are the girls' lockers. Softball. Isn't that like a guy's room? What? Is it softball? Yeah. Yeah. That's where other money goes to. I was right. When there is, they are at a disadvantage, the girls. That's for girls? Yes. But they don't have lockers. Yeah. Oh, that's all they have? Yes, and those are oh. urinals that they keep their feminine. in. Wow. Crazy. I never knew that. There should be equal. You get the. Oh. Those are the girls. Yeah. So basically, a red shirt. The urinals. This is this is it really looks bad. How do you feel about the difference? Uh, I think it's gonna become equal eventually. Why? Equipment? Because they don't have anything else. Are you serious? Yes. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. See, that's not right. They should share. <laughs> well, be more girl locker rooms because there are more girls on campus. I think the population is like 52% girls. Our Amazon is always pretty simple. We figured out that a lot of teachers are leaving next year, so they'll be turning a lot of classrooms by the bungalows into lockers. Hopefully, there are more for girls than for men because obviously there is a lot of a lot of lockers on this campus for boys. So we're hoping that's what, what's going to happen. Should be a problem with everyone getting lockers. Hopefully, it's going to make it possible. So for next year. 
whoever's gonna continue our senior project, we recommend that you guys make people aware. Definitely make people aware. Tell your parents, tell teachers, tell everybody that you can make aware of this problem on our campus. Please, please. please. Get as many people as you can to know about this problem. It's That's the very... only way we're gonna get people to to work on this whole locker situation is if we make people Go on equality between male and female sports. You've seen the evidence, what do you think? Thank you for watching. Bye! Hostel when you're hungry. Better? Better. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Jan, this isn't about you. <laughs> it never is! <laughs>